Good Tuesday morning, people of you, good people of YouTube. Good morning, how are you? Uh, yeah, me and Michelle are fine, thanks. We enjoyed our walk last night, no adverse effects, our legs aren't are aching too much. Which, some of you might be saying, well, you know, that's you've had the walk anywhere, but when you consider the shape we're in, that's all part of our plan to get a little bit fitter and basically improve our lives through weight, weight loss and yeah exercise yeah try to do it a good the good way uh, I slept absolutely fantastic last night how did you sleep I slept like a walk yeah was it the fresh air and the exercise what helped I think so I woke up at three o'clock in the morning really itchy and then I went straight back to sleep well, I thought I wasn't going to get to sleep, so I watched a, an episode of Mock the Week, and then I thought, no, I'll put, put my audio beak on, and I didn't get very far through my audio beak. So, I'll have to rewind. Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring, I'm listening to. Well, anyway, we're going to, oh, I'll have to drink our coffee and get uh, a shirt on, a shoot on, because we've only got 10 minutes, we have to go. It's been too short. So here we are on the way to work to drop Michelle off and the news this morning on the news uh, we watched the BBC news by the way and they were doing a special from Northern Ireland talking about the upcoming elections tonight weather, weather permitting we're going to go to the seaside I think don't hold me to that because we might change our mind at some point today and find somewhere else we'd like to go ok it's just a bit too short right? Pavement on one side of the road and no pavement on the other side of the road. Michelle quite rightly asked why was the woman walking down the wrong side of the road tiptoeing over the gravel. Anyway, sweetheart, we're at that car park again. Yeah? So today's task, how many beans did you count yesterday? Did you count them all? Yeah. So you counted all the beans. Okay, now what I want you to do is go in there and find all the nuts and bolts and screw them together. You want me to screw together nuts and bolts? Yeah, I want you to go in there and screw <laughs> nuts and bolts together. And don't come back till you've earned 15 pounds. 15? Wow. Yes. We need it. We need, we need some petrol. Need some petrol, okay. Okay, so. Alright, I'll see you tonight. Okay, do Okay, so I heard on the radio earlier that there was a, a bus broken down uh, on the road I was going to take, so I've come round it and I'm going through the country roads. And I've got to say, the sky is looking absolutely gorgeous this morning. The sun's over there on my left shoulder on the, in the east, and obviously the western prep heading south. Uh, so I'm seeing over here it's beautiful sunrise, although the sun's quite high at the minute. So, guys, I well, it's a sunrise. And basically, it's beautiful, which means I'm not so bothered about being stuck behind this tractor. Oops, I am now. There's something coming the other way, and both can't fit through. Oh, it's not a tractor; it's a JCB. Oh, that's. Oh no, it's turned off. Mustang. Oh, Mustang. I'd love a Mustang. A uh, Ford Mustang. Don't know why. Well, apart from the fact that it's an iconic brand, well, I just would love one. Anyway, I'm waffling, so I'll shut up. I've just had to re-record this because uh, I've just been pulling onto my car park, indicating left to turn left, just as I was going to turn left. Cyclist decided that would be a very good time to go up the inside of me. And I suppose it had knocked him off, it had said it was my fault. But I did actually see him, so I was paying attention. But what I saw, all I saw was an idiot on a bike. Even bike is a bad name, even cyclists a bad name. Anyway, I'm at work now, it's been a pleasant journey in. I've managed to come down here and pack, try and find a parking space where there ain't any. So I'll we'll have to go back. But uh, yeah, we're at work. And I shall speak to you after the working day is over. Be too short there. And that's us, working day is over with. You know, I've just been thinking, because I had Monday off, I'm only halfway through my week. 
Yeah, all the people that work Monday, they're over halfway through the week in the working week. That makes me feel not too good. I didn't feel duped on Monday when I was off light, but I do feel duped now. Oh well, that's how my brain works. Yeah, let's get off, pick Michelle up, and let's see what we're going to be doing for the evening. It's a lovely evening again. My temperature gauge is saying 14 degrees, so let's go and take it as it comes. Here we are again, going to enter that car park to pick Michelle up and the temperatures drop 3 degrees. Tripping. And, no, she's not waiting. She's not here. Excuse me, my old man said follow the van and don't dilly dally on the way. But I've dillied and I've dallied and I've dallied and I've dillied. I know I've lost my way and I don't know where to go. Any help? Yeah. Look who's getting in the car. and take you to the seaside. Before we went home and we've decided to take you to the seaside which you'll know because we said before that right up there and did the time lapse I was getting to the seaside so I don't even know why I did that entry but yeah here we are at the seaside where we are now we're in a place called Colliston which is a little coastal village used to be a little fishing village I actually used to live here in days gone by Later, there's a footpath up to the up there which goes up the cliffs and goes all the way along the cliffs. And we'll take you up to this viewpoint and you can have a see what's up there. Okay, and here we are at the viewpoint. I'll just give you a bit of a panorama of the sea. Probably won't be able to see that boat as I remember. And we're looking around, looking over the coast. Sorry, the coastal village of Colliston there. Moving by, there's a car park where we parked on the headland. And moving back, you can see this is a vantage point. What we can see Hackney Head, Drums Links, da -da -da. Balmedy Beach, that's actually where we went to the other day, the other week. We went to the beach. Bridge of Dawn, which is where I kind of work. Then you've got seating flats, which you can see straight off in the distance. Aberdeen Harbour, again, straight off in the distance. 
Alton's and yeah and there you have it view from this vantage point walked from over there that was the vantage point that was on we walked round to the other headland and we're kind of coming into the village now all you can see is the beach and the harbour area and the village I wish I walk down this rickety path past the solar panels to see what's going on. So we're at the end of the harbour wall now. Uh, you'll find that a lot of kids go swimming off here, but not today. That's a fair way down. To be quite honest, because the, the tide's out, that's not very deep, so I wouldn't try jumping into there at the minute. We can. The steps. All well, you can tell is the smell here. It's uh, proper, proper. Seaweed. Yep, seaweedy, sea tide smell. There you have the harbour, the natural harbour, and we're on the wall in between. Looking back over the village and the beach. It's a really nice beach. It's very nice in here at summer because it's sheltered all the way around and it gets quite warm up in North East Scotland and we've come to the beach now and we're deciding to write our names in the beach so take pictures because we're like that okay we're finished writing our names on the sand just over there and I uh, was just having a stroll around the beach you look at the, the sandy beach maybe walk up to the next headland over there it's a nice evening so far a bit cold but still nice and there's that so it's back to where we started from so I'll just show you where we've been on this little sign so we've been around Colliston Beach we're actually here now we walk around Onto it, I went up to blow, boat ships, slips, I'm sorry, slips, along the pier to the end, and we've come all the way back now. Over a little village, and that's Colliston. Okay, and the next time we bring you here, what we'll do is we will brave the path up the cliff. I can't remember which way it goes, keep us straight up, up the cliff and we'll show you what's around the headlands it's really nice right we've been home for a few hours now Oop, got in about half past seven so it's quarter past ten now and it's taken me that long to edit yesterday's vlog because I had software issues I basically I was editing I probably lost about an hour with software crashing so I'm not happy but yeah that's it sitting down now to relax uh, yeah have you enjoyed your day your day sweetie mm -hmm. enjoy your walk around the uh, around by the seaside I did anyway yeah so that's the end of another day so I'm gonna call it now my batteries are running out on this thing so I'm going to call it now. I'm going to say it's a good night from me. It's a good night from him. Good night. <laughs>